Hello everyone, you're watching another episode of Military TV. Have you ever known Russia's most dangerous combat jet? Indeed, without any worries, it must be the Tu-160 Blackjack supersonic bomber. If you're curious on this aircraft, stay tuned and watch this video till the end. The Tupolev Tu-160 with NATO's reporting name of Blackjack is a supersonic, variable sweep-wing heavy strategic bomber. This aircraft was designed by the Tupolev Design Bureau in the Soviet Union in the 1970s. It is the Mach 2 Plus supersonic military aircraft ever built, and second to the experimental XB-70 Valkyrie in overall length. As of 2021, the Tupolev Tu-160 is the fastest bomber in use and the largest and heaviest variable sweep-wing airplane ever flown. This aircraft is specifically designed to destroy targets in remote geographic areas and deep in the rear of continental theaters of operation. It is the world's heaviest combat aircraft with the biggest gross takeoff weight among bombers, as well as the world's largest supersonic and variable geometry wing aircraft in military aviation history. Uniquely, this aircraft was unofficially dubbed White Swan because of its power and grace. Anyway, other questions that might arise is why then this aircraft was named White Swan? The reason is that the entire plane is coated in a brilliantly white reflective coating that functions as a crew protection. The Tu-160 is capable of carrying a nuclear payload, which obviously creates an enormously bright fireball. The thermal energy of nuclear explosions is enormous, and by reflecting some of that thermal energy, the crew is at least theoretically more protected than they would be otherwise. Moreover, let's take a look at the specification and the design of this aircraft. With the length of 54.1 meter and wingspan of 55.7 meter, the Tu-160 is able to carry four crew. They operate the bomber on its long-distance missions, in which the pilot and the co-pilot seated side-by-side -side in the front, and two navigators individually sub-specialized in armaments and self-defense systems. Moreover, this aircraft has a maximum speed of Mach 2.05 with a range of 12,300 kilometers. If we make a comparison, the Tu-160 was substantially larger and had a 70% faster maximum speed than the U.S. supersonic B-1B Lancer bomber, which it resembled in some ways. For further information, there are numerous variations of the Tu-160 Blackjack variants. It has a variant of Tu-160S, Tu-160V, Tu-160NK-74, Tu-160M, Tu-160P, Tu-160PP, Tu-160R, and Tu-160SK. It can be noted that the Tu-160V is an upgraded version which operates liquid hydrogen as fuel, while Tu-160NK-74 is an advanced version powered by NK-74 engines. Tu-160M can accommodate two additional long-range hypersonic KH-90 missiles. Tu-160P, commonly known as Tu-161, is a long-range escort or interceptor aircraft. In addition, the Tu-160SX is an enhanced commercial variant of the Tu-160 that is primarily utilized to launch Burlock satellites. In regard to its design, the bomber's airframe has a distinctive appearance, with the wing and fuselage gradually combining into a single-piece configuration. The airframe structure is built with a titanium beam and with all-welded torsion box. Throughout the entire airframe, all the main airframe members are secured to the titanium beam. Moreover, the Tu-160 uses fly-by-wire controls. It is also equipped with three strut landing gear, a tailwheel, and a braking parachute. It can attack strategic targets with nuclear and conventional missiles in continental theaters of operation. For takeoff, the aircraft requires a concrete runway of 3,050 meters. Furthermore, talking about Tu-160 performance, it can climb at a rate of 70 meters per second. 
The maximum and cruise speeds of the bomber are 2,220 km per hour and 960 km per hour, and its combat radius is 7,300 km. Interestingly, as the aircraft weighs around 110,000 kg and its maximum takeoff weight is 275,000 kg, the Tu-160 Blackjack has a flight endurance of 15 hours. Entering service in 1987, the Tu-160 was the last strategic bomber designed for the Soviet Union. As of 2016, the Russian Air Force's long-range aviation branch still had 16 aircrafts in service. This aircraft has entered various operational services. Among the recent ones includes... First, it was on August 2005. Tu-160-03 Red took off from Kalaskaiva AB, a short distance west of Moscow, on a long mission that featured the launch of the latest KH-555 cruise missile. This was not the only remarkable aspect of the mission. The Russian Federation's president, Vladimir V. Putin, was a passenger on the plane. He flew in a strategic missile carrier after arriving at the base straight from Zhukovsky after the opening ceremony of the MAX 2005 air show. The president was given a quick medical check, then put on his flight suit and received instructions on flight safety and how to operate the ejection seat. Soon after, 03 Red, with the president in the pilot's seat, took off and traveled north to the location where the DA and the North Fleet were to conduct a joint drill. The aircraft was piloted by the DA's chief of staff, Major General Anatoly D. Shirkarev, from the right-hand seat, with Colonel Vladimir Adamov as navigator and Lieutenant Colonel Oleg Baranov as WSO. Second, it was on 17 November 2015. It was part of the Russian military intervention in the Syrian civil war. Several Tu-160 and Tu-95MS long-range strategic bombers of the Russian Air Force carried out airstrikes at Idlib and Aleppo provinces using the KH-101 air launch cruise missile fired from the Mediterranean. Third, it was on 23rd October 2019. Two Tu-160s accompanied by an AN-124 cargo plane and an IL-62 passenger plane. The aircraft performed a 13-hour non-stop flight over the Caspian Sea, Arabian Sea, and Indian Ocean, covering 11,000 kilometers distance with mid-air refueling, and landed at Waterkloof Air Force Base in South Africa. It was the Tu-160's first visit to the African continent. Followed by the event on 19 September 2020, two Tu-160 set a world record for the range and duration of a non-stop flight for aircraft of this class. The pilots were in the air for more than 25 hours, covering over 20,000 kilometers. The flight took place in airspace over the neutral waters of the central part of the Arctic and Pacific Oceans and the Kara, Laptev, East Siberian, Chukchi, and Barents Seas. The last question to ask, what actually is a big plan for the new development of this aircraft? It was disclosed in 2015 that Russia's defense industry plans to modernize the Tu-160 with the coming Tu-160M revision. The new variant was trialed in the late 2010s and undertook its maiden flight in 2020, suggesting that the Tu-160M is nearing service readiness. The new fighter jet largely retains its predecessor's design. Rather, it concentrates on a raft of improvements and new features under the hood. The Tu-160M modifications follows an established pattern for Russian aircraft modernization initiatives in recent years, replacing the avionics and radar upgrades given to the Tu-22 bomber. This strategy makes sense in the near future to say on a tried and true frame that saves time and money over investing in a new airframe design. That's all for today. If you find this video interesting, don't forget to like, share, and comment. And the most important one is to click the subscribe button for more updates on awesome videos.